honoured guests, please be mindful of others while filming and photographing tonight's performance. Please take your seats as tonight's performance of Dragon Slayer is back So we need to get an order in line. For thousands of years, Britain has been immersed in stories and legends. I could tell you the legend of a king called Arthur, or an outlaw called Robin of the Hood. But the legend I will tell you today, my friends, is born from the soil of Warwick and was told throughout the lands. As all legends, its truth lies deep within. That truth is of a man from a humble stock who rose to be a mighty warrior knight whose chivalry and courage protected this land from a relentless terror. This man became the greatest hero of his time. He became the legend that is Guy of Warwick. The legend begins here at my home, the magnificent Warwick Castle. My lords, ladies and gentlemen, please be upstanding for your host. Yes, 
here. But let the tournament begin.
The final challenge is between Sir Alfred of Wessex against Guy of Mercia. The first one to reach these two. Uh, the first one to reach these two weapons can choose their weapon in a trial of combat. The first knight is no knight. Then the first competitor to disarm the other and ring the bell shall be crowned Champion of Wolverine! And win the favour of Main Fleece. What did you say? That holds! Get ready. <coughs> Not too long. Go when Lady Felice drops her favour.
As Felice read of his adventures, my daughter realized her feelings for him had grown. Lady? The letter's arrived. Is it from Guy? Oh, I believe so. <laughs> it is. My dear Lady Felice, I recently traveled to the town of Louvain in Belgium, as I had heard that the Duke there was a cruel tyrant who was bringing great pain and suffering to the people. I had heard of a cruel injustice against a young woman. On my arrival there, I rescued this lady from the burning stake. She was very grateful and even asked me to marry her. What? Having left the grateful lady, I found that word of my fight for justice had spread. I escorted pilgrims to the Holy Land. I rescued a lion and I saved the Emperor of Constantinople. And for that I was showered with gold. But it seems my greatest test is yet to come as I go forth to face a terrible foe. I must face the champion of the Danish King Olaf who has brought his army to these shores. I now make my way to Winchester and the cause of King Athelstan. I pray that I will be victorious. May God protect you, Guy.
Saxon. He had helped defeat the invaders from the north and saved Winchester. But it had taken all of thy strength and cunning to defeat the Danish giant Colbrand. He defeated the Danish champ. Oh, you know, this is true. Ralph had arrived at the castle. One of his men sent him word from Winchester. My lady police, I bring word. My most trusted servant bore witness to the fight between Guy and the giant Colbrand. He says he was victorious. But, alas, I thought he was injured. Badly injured? I know not, my lady. They say Guy was presented to a grateful King Athelstan and then just disappeared. Disappeared? But did nobody see where he went? No, King Athelstan sent men to search for him, but Guy was gone. But you say he was injured? So my servant tells me. But my lady, remember, to trust in God, that he will recover from his injuries. I have competed and fought against the man that I knew as Guy of Mercia. But then I saw the fire in his eyes, and I felt the strength in his arms, and the passion in his heart. I've heard the stories of his adventures and his fights for justice, and I know in my heart that your Guy of Warwick will return. Thank you, Sir Alfred, for your kind words. Guy disguised himself as a pilgrim and set off to estimate the adversary that stood before them. Then, one day word reached Guy that a cruel enemy from the past was bringing untold misery to his subjects. Guy decided to return to Belgium and the town of Louvain. Since then I know that you have stolen land. You've burned farms and you've murdered innocent people all for your own selfish gain. Spare me the sermon. What is your challenge? Single combat. And for the victor? Go, because you care for it so much. For the loser, they must relinquish everything they own and be banished as a beggar. Banishment? <laughs> really? Really again? No, no, no. Huh? I accept your challenge. But first, there is one thing you must do for me. Oh, what is that? Fight them. Fight. Kill him! No. Yeah! 